So 35 million, I mean, how would imagine? Photography itself can be a personal journey, but then also a public journey that you can share with others. We turn that big idea and articulate it into this spot featuring uh, football to demonstrate each person's individual journey that they could have while they're all experiencing the same thing. There are two stories. One is that football unites groups of people, and the other is that photography unites different disparate groups of people. The director, Andrew, is shooting with uh, 10 Canon EOS 1D Mark III cameras. So this is very unique because this is a motion picture television commercial, and he's shooting it with still cameras. Get as much as you can, and if need be, kind of drop down as you okay. go around. The idea made perfect sense because Canon's all about photography, and the best way of showing what our products can do is to shoot with them. It's almost like they're actually running, but it's just going to be quick snapshots. Cameras ready, guys. Action. You know, back in the day, when you do the little stick figure images and you yeah, shuffle you through them and make them run and stuff, and it takes us around to the right. The noise of the cameras on was kind of thrilling at first. It was like that awful thing of having an automatic weapon in your hand. All you hear was. <laughs> <laughs> the system we're using is similar to a photo array. Hook your legs over. We're looking for as high a shot as you can. Okay. Andrew made a decision early on that to give this perhaps a more human feel to it, that each camera would be individually controlled. There's a gang of ten of us running around with these cameras. <laughs> underneath the lights, underneath the rain, in the snow, in the ocean, in the dust storms. We've lived a lifetime in the last four or five days. Low, low, low. This is where we get all the cameras ready to go out for uh, shooting. Make sure that all the cards are clean. Same, same that one. They want to go super fast on this because I'm guessing the guys are going to be running pretty fast. I'm going to be tackling a wide receiver. He's the one that's just going to get blasted, so we want to make sure he's really tight in there. I'm the hit E. That guy was the hitter. Hey, give him a pop, and I want you to really kind of sell that. Okay. Okay. If you go out there and you, you do your stunt, you try not to get hurt, you probably won't get hurt. So you just go out there and, yeah, you and do a good job and go all out. I get hit by a football player. Better. All the images make one shot in a strange way. Each camera is photographing a different part of it. It's something that you can't do with a motion picture camera. You can't all of a sudden go inside the car with your dolly track. So this gives us an opportunity to break up the move and be in an unexpected place. It's like an impossible tracking shot. We're going from one different scene to another. So we're going from the father and son playing football in the backyard to a beach game. And beach goes into peewee football and peewee goes into powder puff. So you've got to keep a continuous flow. So you want to keep each guy on the same type of line. You want to keep them running in the same direction. Take two on the slate. Action. It definitely has this sort of cutting edge Wild West feel to it, even though it's a bit of a weird I think that's so amazing. You know, it looks great. The whole thing with no video, like no, you know, uh, layback and like, you know, <laughs> let's not make a habit of this, all right? <laughs> the most interesting part for me is yet to come. It's really how you select maybe a dozen extraordinary photographs from one scene and connect the dots. Right now I have about 60,000 pictures that I'm working with. You can't really look at them as film. You have to look at them as individual frames and individual shot, so I couldn't cut it in a traditional way. You have to go back two frames. All right, now can you zoom in on that? On the Almost like three-dimensional editing, in that he can change the speed, the time, and the depth that he goes into an image. That's why photography is so special and so wonderful, is, is that human element, is that wonder that almost any person is capable of capturing an amazing photograph on any given day. You don't have to be a professional to, to get a great shot, and that's sort of what the Rebel is at the beginning of, is that realization that, hey, I, I can shoot great shots too, and you start to really begin that journey as a photographer.